Hey guys, welcome back to another Redbeard Outdoors episode. If you haven't seen my past two videos, I'll leave a link down in the description below. I did a review on my 2014 GMC Sierra and a review on my 2012 Harley Road Glide. Well, I traded those in and got my new truck and today I'm gonna be doing a review on that. So, without further ado, here's my new truck. There you have it, a 2018 Cummins engine, Longhorn Edition 3500 Dodge Ram. So let's just start off with a quick walk around. Oh yeah guys, I forgot to mention it's a Mega Cab. Let me show you why. So we really wanted a mega cab for the space and right now we have the headrests off so that's normal don't worry about that. The beauty of this is if you have a passenger the seats lean back quite a bit. Tons of leg room but the main reason we bought it was for this right here. The mega cab storage space. So we've measured it we can fit three dog crates across here you know if we're traveling somewhere and it's too cold or too hot out and i know this is wadded up back here but this is our uh, dog mat right here we have this it folds out strap it to the handles we've already tested it once it works out really well um let me go fold down that other side All right, here's the other side folded down. There's even some storage back here. Well, this side doesn't have much. I have the uh, amp that goes under there. These are just folding flaps and there's another storage compartment over there. Then you have all your tie down hooks. A reason we have the headrest off is because a lot of the time these seats are gonna be folded down and I didn't want them hitting this. And it gives us extra storage to put things right here because that headrest comes out to like right here. So we took those off there and we're able to put like luggage and stuff right here. And then we have tons of room up here. Uh, another nice feature is we would be able to put some kind of mattress pad in here and use it for sleeping when you're on the road or when I'm out uh, doing some truck camping or on some kind of a fishing trip. I can sleep right here in the back of the truck because there's that much room. I'm gonna crawl up in here and show you how much room there actually is back here. All right, I'm laying all the way out. I'm 5'10". My feet can reach all the way over there, so I'll be able to sleep in here pretty comfy. All I need is a mattress and a pillow though. Okay, as you guys have seen, this is the Longhorn Edition, so we get the fancy leather package with the stitching, which I've always loved, that's why I got it. And some of the features here in the back seat include heated seats for the back seat, 12 volt plug, and then we also have AC vents back here, which if you guys watched my Sierra video, that's something I wish I had to uh, provide some air conditioning and heat back here. I have these real nice buckles right here. It's just with a magnet for some seat storage right there. This back window is really tinted. Should provide lots of privacy when we're sleeping back here or on trips or whatnot, because it's really hard to see in. The front windows we bought it were as dark as these back windows. We had to remove that instantly because that does not work well at night whatsoever, especially when we're towing a trailer, we're gonna be towing horses and we need to see out those mirrors. So, um, we got that tent removed. There was also a tent on the front windshield. We had that removed because, well, although it was nice, it was uh, illegal and we didn't want to get pulled over because we travel all over the country. So we didn't want that happening. There's the middle console, the Longhorn badging right there, which is pretty nice. I should mention we did get a lighter tent done up here. 
just not the illegal kind because like I said we really needed to see the trailer so um, it's got real nice stitching for the Laramie Longhorn edition 8 inch touch screen right here nice Longhorn badging right there has a top glove compartment and a lower one comes with uh, some pretty fancy floor mats although I'm probably gonna get rid of those and go with a weather tech or husky liner again kind of like I had in my Sierra this one came pre-wired with a bunch of auxiliary switches that you can plug like lights and all sorts of stuff up into we might get a couple lights for this thing 12 volt trailer brake um, AC controls right here four-wheel drive uh, engine start stop button you got your cruise control and all your um, setting buttons right here I got the key on me so let's uh, switch this to run mode just by tapping the button got really nice um, Longhorn edition gauges got all your settings over here your power folding mirrors um, I'm not gonna get into the Uconnect much but here's all of our settings and we have uh, Android Auto which is awesome uh, plugging that in and using Google Maps on that is like way better than using this navigation Even though this navigation really isn't that bad. So we got some storage up here and some more um, Stuff to throw your hats and whatnot up there We got the uh, sunroof Gotta have the sunroof um, I really enjoy having sunroofs and then nice thing That my Sierra didn't have that this does is the power sliding rear window right there no, I'm pretty glad I got that. You have um, SOS and garage buttons there. Down here you have a place to hold your phone. Slides in just like that. Like so. And then the cord can be plugged in at the bottom right there. Like that. And then that's how you hook up your Android Auto. Something I don't like about it is your cup holder is clear over here instead of like right here so you kind of have to reach for your cup over there it's kind of in a weird spot this slides and this is real wood right here you can open that uh right here the only place you can find a usb port is right here which is kind of unfortunate i wish there was something up here I'm not sure why they did that but Oh well. So a little bit of storage here and your deep storage in there. And a lot of cords all over the place. And you also have a little storage compartment right here for, I don't know what you'd put there, maybe a pen or something. All right, let's start up the engine and then I will uh, show you under the hood. So the other day we actually got 21 miles to the gallon on the highway. Uh, super stoked about those numbers. Um, one thing this doesn't have is teles telescoping steering wheel. It's got uh, raise and lower and pedal adjusters though. Kind of wish it telesco telescoped a little bit.
is extremely quiet too. I know some of you diesel guys would probably hate that, but I can't believe how quiet it is. So you're looking at a 6.7 turbo diesel Cummins engine under the hood. And you guys saw there was uh, two batteries set up in there. Um, I'm not sure if that's standard or not. Uh, let me know down in the comments if, if it is. But if it's not, I think it has to do with these uh, auxiliary switches right there. And that way you can get extra power out of um, your light bars and whatnot. I think that is a additional feature I'm not really for sure like i said let me know in the comments below so i'm a first time diesel owner and um i've done a lot of research on diesel i don't know uh all there is to know about it but i've done all sorts of research to uh make sure i know what i'm doing because um everything i've read and seen owning diesel is way different than owning a uh, gas engine so I'm not going to soup this up real crazy, but I am going to buy some parts for it. So uh, make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for that. I'll have some parts coming up. I'll also probably do some installation videos. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. Um, if you guys have any advice on being a diesel owner, leave it down in the comments below. Uh, make sure, you know, if it's a comment like make sure you don't do this or make sure you don't do that. Let me know, and uh, hopefully I've done all my research and um, know what not to do with this diesel truck. Most of you Ram owners know that these mirrors flip up and down, and uh, I could flip it sideways if I wanted to. I believe uh, people call these the uh, moose horn mirrors right here, the way that I have them right now, but this is the best uh, towing setup. And... Um, that's how we have it right now, and we have all the mirrors programmed that way, so we wanted to keep it like this. Let me show you a little bit more in the bed. This bed sits up so high, something I gotta get used to. The whole truck is about five inches higher than what my 1500 Sierra was. A crazy feature, which I don't really understand why this isn't a standard feature, but it doesn't have a, a dampening tailgate. And so you got to be real careful not to drop it. But we do have the fifth wheel provisions for if we're ever towing a fifth wheel trailer. Um, we have the bumper pull trailer right now, so it's going to be able to tow that with no problems. Got the Longhorn badging in the back, park sensors. It has a tailgate camera and a bed camera up there. That's pretty sweet. I'm going to have to show you guys that. All right. So you have your backup camera there and your bed camera. So you can check your trailering loads and keep an eye on making sure everything's hooked up properly. I know the new Ram has a lot of more cameras that would be really nice to have for towing, but um, this one... I, I feel like this Ram is a pretty rare Ram as far as Mega Cab 3500 Longhorn Edition 2018. I feel like it's kind of a rare combo Ram. If you guys have one, leave me a comment down below and so I can go check it out if you do have one. But I think this whole configuration is a pretty rare setup. Well, I think I'm going to call it quits here. There's probably so much more I could talk about this truck on, but... I'll probably do it in later videos and I'm going to do a couple add-ons and buy some parts for, for this truck. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. If you guys are familiar with the channel and you're wanting to know about the boat project build, it is still going on. Um, make sure to stay around. I'll have more videos on that coming up. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and I'll keep you updated on my Ram build here. Also, if you liked this video, please hit that like button. Let YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And I will see you on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep having fun with your truck. I'll catch you later.